Yo, to what's good to you with y'all boys, man? Steph Glizzy back at y'all with another 2K20 video, man. My flow for not posting recently, guys. You feel me? We've been at school with it. We've been busy, man. I'm trying to get up out of college. But back to the video, man. I'm giving you guys tips on how to become a better slasher. You feel me? Um, as y'all seen in the previous clips, y'all probably like, damn, this nigga cold as hell. You feel me? So, uh, I got y'all, man. I got the badge set up for y'all. Now, out of, out of all of these badges, the necessary ones I'm gonna say are acrobat, slithery finisher, contact finisher. Oh, I'm capping, I'm capping. Fancy Fork is a Gucci badge too. It'd be for the big ass glass locks and paint beasts that be sitting in the paint, ready to swatch your shit. Fancy Fork, you feel me? You stun them, get the little easy layup going on. It's not really necessary, but you feel me? It's necessary. Giant Slayer. It just helps you not get blocked and the layups are more effective against big ass niggas, bruh. Um, my layup packages. Long Athlete and Westbrook. Those are my go-tos. Long Athlete for the long, uh, pause, pause, <laughs> pause. Long Athlete for the huge, um, hop steps. Pause. What the hell? Yeah, the hop steps is crazy. But Westbrook, that's the more all around. You feel me? You got everything in that package. The Euros, the hop steps, the cradles, all of that. I'm telling you. Now, one tip for y'all boys, man. When y'all drive into the paint, Never go straight up. You see, if someone's around me, I never go straight up, bro. That is very likely that you're gonna get blocked or contested. What I do is I do a hop step. Most of, eighty-five percent of the time when I drive, I do a hop step. You feel me? Because that's just easy bucket right there. As you can see right there, boom. Once you hit that hop step, ninety-five percent of people are gonna jump. You feel me? Even if someone's standing in the paint, they're bots, bro. Most of them are gonna jump. So by the time you finish the hop step, you got an easy open layup. Or as you can see right there, he fouled me for the easy and one bucket. Being a good slasher, man, or just being a good at 2K, you feel me? You just got to use your IQ to outsmart your opponent. As you see right here, I'm driving on this guy. You think I'm going straight up, side hop step, easy dunk. The side hop steps are the most lethal as it gets you the most space to get open. And it's not also always about scoring. As you see right here, the big man is staying in the paint. You feel me? He's camping the paint. I do the hop step just to bait him. My man is open in the corner. It's simple. Simple, bro. It's just easy as that. You, know, you dig? Like, you can also use this. To not get baited as you can see right here i'm in this situation this dude is in the paint he doesn't step up i use the hop step to like decide to give me some time to decide you feel me what he's gonna do boom slice through the defense I'm telling you the hop steps is crazy bro now another tip y'all is using the baseline reverse dunks or the layups you feel me if you have the attributes to unlock the baseline reverse dunks it's op bro as you see right here you see this little all you need is a little tiny crease of space on the baseline bro that's all you need to activate the package and that's an easy dunk or it's an easy layup because most of the time it's gonna slide them out the way or say if you if you have a man that's riding your hip if you get to step on him bro ggs as you see right here like it's just it's just like literally moving them out the way bro i've been using this move since 2k19 it's very effective acrobat kicks in right here you feel me now, y'all, I'm going to analyze this for y'all. Once you have to step on somebody on the baseline, just do the reverse dunk. Because if you go straight up with square, I'm tired of seeing people go up with square. If I went up with square, I would have got blocked. But as you see right there, I start the reverse animation. By the time they're in the middle of the jump, that's when I'm starting to dunk. And I'm not going to get blocked, bro. I'm just giving y'all high percentage ways to score in this game. You feel me? Now, with that being said, y'all, these aren't the only ways to score in the paint. This is what I like to do because it's the most high percentage for me. Hop steps and reverses are the most high percentage to me. I don't really do euros or cradles. I don't feel me. They're too, like, I don't know. They're too iffy. But anyways, y'all, more videos on the way, man. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, man, Steph Glizzy, I'm out.